And the goal this week is to start things off beautifully, and that's exactly what we did. Mostly moony skies on this Monday morning, as seen from the Valley Sky Cam here. And take a look at this glowing sunrise this morning. Delightful conditions to start today, and comfortable as well. Right now, you're looking at the Dakota Magic Casino camera there, crystal clear skies down along the South Dakota border near Hankinson. Your current conditions at Hector, 78 degrees, so nearly 80. Very light winds, and it's a little warmer in Moorhead. Notice the 70s here across central Minnesota from Badette and uh, down through Bemidji. Then you sneak through the Red River Valley where we're near 80. We have 90s in the central Dakota. So we obviously have a temperature boundary here somewhere cool to the east and north and very hot down to the south and west. That is a warm front. It's kind of stuck right here in this area. Now, we have no weather to worry about this evening as we take a look at the satellite and the radar composite, but that boundary could trigger some storms for the day tomorrow and your hour by hour forecast shows you exactly where. But first and foremost, get out and enjoy a beautiful evening tonight. Temperatures will get cool once again in our central Minnesota counties. I expect one or two locations in the 40s. Briefly, patchy fog cannot be ruled out here and there as well. Now we can start to pick out this boundary as we set things into motion through the morning hours. Many of us start out in the 60s. We'll see a few clouds forming along it. South and west of the warm front, things get hot. To the north and east, it stays on the comfortably cool side. And right there in the middle, there is a chance at the development of a few showers as we go into the afternoon. Doesn't look to be widespread, and it doesn't look at least initially to be severe. But let's talk about this here as we head into the evening hours. Along that boundary, we could see some thunderstorms firing after the heat of the day. And we can't rule out a strong one or two. So we'll keep our eyes on this very closely. Not all models agree on what's going to happen tomorrow, but we could have some thunderstorms of brewing with the heat that's out to the west, smashing heads with the cool that's out to the east. Those thunder showers, if they do exist, will be isolated in nature and they will continue into the early overnight hours before dissipating. So in Fargo, 58 to start, warming up to near 70 by late morning. We'll see mostly sunny skies minus a chance for some patchy fog. So we go into the afternoon, we heat up 84 degrees. And if we do see thunderstorms, it looks like it'll be after the dinner hour in the Fargo area. A few of our western counties may see an evening thunder shower. The hottest weather tomorrow will be from Fargo and points south and west. We'll have some 70s in Lakes Country and out towards Bemidji where Babe the Blue Ox can enjoy some comfort out there. Here's a look at the uh, shot captured in the Fargo area. Just beautiful colors there and some beautiful weather as well. Tiffany, thanks for uploading your photo. Now a look at that forecast after a few hiccups on Tuesday. We stay warm on Wednesday and the rest of the week for the most part looks pretty quiet. Now along the international border, there will be a chance of daily showers up north. Just to make sure you're aware of that. Uh, Friday, Fargo's next chance at a shower or thunder shower, Andrea. And then the weekend looks delightful. And look at this, we do have some nice warm summer-like temperatures to enjoy. And still no first alert weather days for the next seven. Looks good, thanks Hutch. You bet.